Hello everybody, my name is Scott Buckler and I'm here to present the Freefly Movi XL. This is a uh, excellent, excellent stabilized head. It's mounted, come over to where the light is, it's mounted onto uh, Powerscopic Techno Crane. For what I'm doing here, it's not weighted up, not doing any motion, uh, just testing it out, uh, dealing with some uh, uh, issues I'm having with uh, the drift. Try to get this in focus. There we go. So uh, I'm going to switch over to the front camera and then uh, we are going to proceed. All right, so what we've got here, this is just a test configuration. It's a, a Sony Betacam SP. Uh, it just gives me a, something a little bit more elaborate than mounting a brick on the end of the crane. But it's probably not worth much more than a brick. And then I've got a laser pointer that's on the, uh, the end here. And uh, that's what I'm using as a, a reference pointer. Uh, up here, this blue thing is a uh, little rotation device. So what I did is I took off the Mitchell pa uh, plate, machined my own plate so that it can attach to this guy. And then got two little uh, switches, toggle switches. So I can toggle it. left or the other button jog it over to the right so this is just to change the orientation of the Mitchell plate uh, if I didn't have this the Mitchell plate would be hard mounted to the crane and uh, it would just be harder for me to show you what it is that I'm trying to do uh, the, the, the camera itself is all mounted on and it's balanced it's been tuned so that's all set and ready to go got back here we're gonna activate the head and the motors it's gonna kinda jog around find it where it wants to settle then over here, this is my uh, Mimic, and it's mounted to a fluid head. It, it, it's, it's meant to work like a fluid head, so you know, DP can pan right, pan left, all right you how the camera's moving and then I can point it all the way straight down and even rotate around okay. now what we got here so I'm going to take my uh, laser pointer, pointer bring it up to a reference mark and Lock everything off. So the mimic's not moving, green's not moving, heads, and what you can see is it's kind of just drifting to the left. And this is this is obviously the issue. DP's lining up the shot, walks away to deal with some lighting, comes back, eh, now he's framed on the grip stance. It's gotta bring him bring the camera back. Uh, you know, this is this is the what what we're up against. Uh, so now, what I've done, bring it back to center. I'm in the app, and uh, I've got heading assist up here. And I'm going to go from the off position to.
fixed mount. Now this is where my uh, my jogging mechanism comes in. All right, so you see it's going off from right, off to the right from where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to. Start jogging it around. Now I okay, went a little bit to the left, so now I'm going to just punch it back to the right. Now, I've got it so it's holding pretty steady. All right, it's working good. On my Mimic, I can control the camera left and right, up and down. This is good for setting up and lining up a shot, getting ready to go. Everything's good. Right. Uh, the problem, though, you know, you've got uh, back pain compensation. So as I arc the crane left and right, it goes off. All right. If I had a situation where I could just turn the gyros off or on, I can deal with it. The problem in this um, fixed mode is it's kind of sporadic. So I'm going to use my little controller again to demonstrate. So I jog it, and I stop, and then it keeps going. It kind of settles. Like, this is not anything that I could ever use because the frame is just going to be all over the place. So, eh. We're on the right track, but we're not there yet. All right, I'm going to just get it centered back to my, uh, my mark. Now, the next setting is the GPS setting. So go over to the app, uh, hit GPS, take the Mimic, line up my laser printer, uh, laser pointer, too bad. So then, and now, back pan compensation. As I jog my, uh, my motor, it tracks, it does real, real well. It's like, okay. So it would seem to be, hey, all right, Scott, the solution is put it in GPS. And now, now you're good to go. You've got back pain compensation, and it's tracking, uh, you know, real good. Well, right now, it's doing great. I tested this 10 minutes ago before I started this this uh, demo, and I put it on GPS, and it did it did drift. And actually, as we're watching it, we can see there is. You know, it, it's drifting. Again, is it as bad as it in, in the off mode? No. It seems to be better. Uh, so, it's like getting better, but not perfect. So, uh, GPS seems to give the best uh, performance as, as far as tracking. But see, even this... You know, like if you've got the frame and he's and, and he's framed up on, uh, you know, uh, somebody's nose, and ten minutes later it's on their ear, 
Well, that's not on their notes. So again, it's still drifting, but not as, as bad as the, the off position. So it's not a, a solution. It's just, you know, like, okay, well, you know, it's, it's getting better, but not there yet. Uh, what seems to be uh, the, the, the element is like when it starts up it has a position it wants to go to and that's, that's like a reference mark and so I've been trying to work out uh, the, with my jogging mechanism is there some, some position where it does work and, and I just haven't been able to dial it in so it's always the same so like here as you see I'm, I'm still in GPS and and it's uh, it's drifting. I'm gonna go back into the uh, uh, fixed mount and uh, jog the, the, the uh, I'm gonna call it the Mitchell plate, even though it's not a Mitchell anymore, but uh, the the base plate. Uh, so, what's the value on this is in the fixed mount. I can dial it in and it'll hold a position. So this tells me that the Mimic is not sending out a phantom si signal. The gyros that are in the XL are stable. So there's not a, you know, it, it's not that they're going off. So it's just when it's engaged in the either off mode or uh, GPS, so that I have the back pan compensation, that seems to be the element where I've got the, the drift. Now this is me, I'm, I'm, I'm jogging my, my motor to uh, you know, hold this, this position. Uh, so that's why it's dancing a little bit to the left and right. All right? So trying to rule out where, where the variables are. Uh, and the thing that's been frustrating is depending on what test I'm doing. So in, in, let's go back to the off mode. All right, so I'm in off mode. And we've, we've got the, the shift to the left. There are other times I've done this and without changing anything it, it goes and it's, it's shifting to the right uh, but 97% of the times it goes to the left so that's that seems to be the consistency but it's not 100% uh, so th this is what it is that uh, you know I'm, I'm trying to get uh, 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 improved rectify I'm, I don't expect it to be 100%. I don't expect it to be motion control or, or, or to use this for a plate shot where I can, you know, set it up and come back an hour later and it's exactly the same spot. That, that's, that I don't need. Um, but I just needed to, to be able to hold uh, a reasonably stable frame when it's, when it's stationary. Uh, now, this, this so, so going back to... Um, the uh, fixed mount mode. And so I'm like, okay, well, Scott, you know, it seems like you've got a, a situation where you can dial it in while you're lining up a shot so the DP's not complaining. Uh, and then when you're getting ready to do a moving shot, then you, you click it over to uh, um, uh, the off position and you're good to go. The problem that I'm having is the, the only way that I'm able to get the fixed position to hold this stable is by having this unit up here to, to tweak it. And I'm going to be the only one in the world who has this. Which means what I'm up against is I'm here in New York, I'm on a job, DP's flying in from LA, he's asking about my crane, I say, okay, I've got great uh, techno crane, 
uh, and this Movi XL, absolutely wonderful, amazing, you know, its stability and, and how it works. And he goes, yeah, I know the Movi XL. It's got drift. I don't want to use it. All right, I'm going to go to, uh, get a cream from another company. Um, and, and, you know, I don't want to deal with it. So it doesn't do me any good to have a one-off solution. I mean, I can try to explain, no, 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 I've solved it, this, that, and the other. But when they've made up the mo their mind that this piece of equipment has burned them in the past or they have been unsatisfied with the performance of the piece of equipment in the past, it's going to be a really tough sell for me to explain that, no, well, my, my head... I've done this modification or that modification. Some some people will be like, okay, yeah, fine, that sounds great. I'll go with you. Others are going to be like, no, I don't care what you have to say. I don't want to use that head. So fixing this issue or tweaking it or what needs to be done is important because it's important that all heads operate at the same level of precision. And so for me to have you know, this, this specialized tweaking mechanism up here. Uh, this is only a temporary fix. This gets me through a job that I've got next week and I'll, I'll be able to set it up and, and, you know, know that I've got to jog back and forth and this is what I've got to do. But it's not a long-term solution. So I'd really like you guys over at FreeFly to take a look at this and be... You know, hopefully you understand what, what we're up against. So right now I'm not tweaking it, I'm not moving anything, and that, that laser print, print, uh, pointer is absolutely lock solid. But I can't do a, uh, a telescopic move with the crane. Uh, I don't mind lose, being able to toggle off the back pan compensation. I don't know if that's something that can be done. So if you have stabilization, on the roll axis and the tilt axis. These are the things that are most important to me. The back pan compensation, yes, it's nice, but I've operated non-stabilized heads for many, many, many years. It didn't have back pan compensation. And so that is not a deal killer. So if there is a way that the, uh, the, 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 the a pan gyro can be disabled, but still, obviously, I need pan control on the Mimic. Uh, I, I, again, I don't know. I don't know your circuitry. I don't know how it's all intertwined, but that's uh, a recommendation that I have if that would help with the issue of, hey, we can just disable this one feature uh, and, you know, it, 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 it will... Uh, take out the drift because I mean I have no drift on tilt I have no drift on uh, the roll axis uh, and I have spoken to you tech guys and they've explained to me a little bit about between the gyros and the accelerometers that you know it's just inherent in the pan to have this that on the other axes you've got other types of backups uh, this starts getting into you know foreign languages um, you know, I'm a mechanical engineer and not a, 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 an electrical engineer. So you, you, you're a little bit out of my domain when, when I get those explanations. So I just come back with, you know, it needs to work. It needs to be stable. This is really, really important. Um, the the, the, the long-term viability of your equipment uh, is solely resting on this one issue because it's what everybody talks about. And one little thing like this is something that can tank a production line. So I, I, I don't want to see this head, you know, be taken off the market. I don't know whether this is an issue with other equipment you have. I'm just dealing with this. I love it. It's amazing. Uh, you know, the cameras that I've been able to mount on here, the lenses uh, worked with a, a 10 to 1, you know, 25 to, to 250 millimeter. We were uh, zoomed all the way in, doing full moves, rock solid. This is, this is a really stupendous piece of equipment you have. Um, so I just want to narrow down this one aspect and see what we can do. Uh, Please feel free to contact me uh, by phone or, or email, 
and hopefully we can uh, move forward. All right, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.